In this example, we are going to discuss quadratic applications involving revenue. And we will solve by applying the quadratic formula. The revenue R of producing and selling X awesome hearing aids is modeled by the equation R equals negative 4X squared plus 118X. How many hearing aids need to be produced and sold in order to earn revenue of $850? You may have more than one answer and round to the nearest whole number. Notice here, they give us the revenue, which is R, and X is our awesome hearing aids, and they're asking how many hearing aids. So the number of hearing aids is the variable x and revenue is the variable r. I will go ahead and replace this revenue into the equation and then solve. So let's go ahead and rewrite the equation given to us r equals negative 4x squared plus 118x. Let's go ahead and replace the revenue with the given revenue of $850 set it equal to negative 4x squared plus 118x. Notice the um, variable term with x squared in it. Right away, since we can see that this would be a quadratic equation, and in this case we'll be solving by using the quadratic formula. In order to solve a quadratic equation, we have to get 0 on one side, so we'll go ahead and subtract 850 from each side of the equation, and then solve. We get 0 equals negative 4x squared plus 118x minus 850. And we can go ahead and divide by the GCF of negative 2. And dividing by negative 2 will allow us to also have a positive leading term. So I'll divide the left side by negative 2, the first term by negative 2, the linear term by negative 2, and then the constant term by negative 2. In doing this, you can see that this, is re this reduces our coefficients of each term. We get positive 2x squared minus 59x plus 425. Now these coefficients um, traditionally are a little bit larger, but that's because we're dealing with a product like hearing aids. Um, in solving, we'll go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and recall the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now looking at our equation, we can clearly see that a is 2, b is negative 59, and c is the constant term 425. Let's go ahead and plug and chug these coefficients into the quadratic formula. So x is equal to negative b, and here we have to be very careful with our negatives, so negative negative 59 plus or minus the square root of b squared negative 59 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 425, divided by To a, and once again a is positive 2. In doing some arithmetic, this can be simplified, or we could put it in our calculator. Don't forget we're rounding to the nearest whole number, and then we may have more than one answer. Let's go to our calculator. I went ahead and inputted each solution. Recall that we have plus or minus, meaning we have negative b plus the square root 
of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, and then we have negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So I'll put in the plus and then the minus and get two different solutions. So let's go ahead and look at our calculator once again. I have the plus and minus. So the plus is exactly 17, and when I use the subtraction, it's 12 and a half. And because 12 and a half rounds off to 13 as a whole number, we'll go ahead and put approximately 13. So what were we looking for? What does this all mean? Well, we were looking for the number of hearing aids produced in Seoul in order to earn a revenue of $850. So we could say something, therefore, when the revenue is $850, 17 or 13 hearing aids are produced and sold.